All right, so first thing first, I am sorry about my hair. The barbershops all got closed down because of COVID-19, so I am unable to fix this. I look like the Brady Bunch had a foreign exchange student, and the foreign exchange student tried to fit in and failed. But no worries, that's not going to stop me from making any tutorials. I'm really happy to introduce you guys to this new series that I've been working on. This is the Unity Beginner Scripting Tutorial Series. We're going to introduce C-sharp, and we're going to conquer this in three different phases. The reason why we're going to be doing this in three phases versus just doing it all in one go is so people can jump in in the different phases depending on where you are at as a programmer with C-sharp. For instance, if you are a complete rookie, then you can jump in at phase one, and I'll explain variables, functions, things that you probably don't know what they are right now. If you're a little bit more equipped and you just want to see how it ties into Unity, then we'll jump right into phase two, where I'm going to be introducing the UI system and tying it into our code. We're going to go from phase one, where we're not going to care about how our code is put together at all. It's going to be messy, disgusting. People are going to get grossed out from looking at it if they know how to code. But in phase two, we're going to start caring about that. We're going to make it a nice, beautiful code. And we're going to talk about what makes code beautiful. And then in phase three, Three, we are going to take that whole, all that knowledge, and we're going to actually make the turn-based role-playing game. Now, we'll have a game completed in phase one. We'll have a better game completed in phase two. But in phase three, we're going to modularize everything. So we're going to have dialogue module, a top-down movement module, a turn-based combat module, and all these modules will be standalone. And there will be one video at the end of every module that ties into the bigger picture. So if somebody just wants to come to one of these series and just learn how to make a dialogue system, they can do that. And if somebody wants to come in and just make the top-down movement or the combat system, again, they can do that with the modules, which is why we're going for a modularized approach inside of phase three. So if you're a little bit more experienced, you might just want to jump in at phase three. If you're not experienced at all, you can jump right in at phase one. I'm really excited about the series. It's my magnum opus, my masterwork. It's got everything that I've learned about teaching online all tied into it. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to Google Unity Hub. Once Unity Hub comes up, that'll be your first option on here. You go ahead and hit download Unity, and then you can go ahead and click download Unity Hub. You proceed to run it and then you go through the agreement and you install it just like you would anything else. So you install from here. Pause this video until you are done installing. Once you're done installing, you can open it up like so, and then you can go ahead and start to use Unity Hub. Now Unity Hub, you want to have, go over to the installs and you can control what versions of Unity that you have on your system. Now it's important because these different versions of Unity might break certain programming that you do. So we want to have multiple versions of Unity on on our system so that we can run different projects with different versions of Unity. As you can see, I'm running 2020 on several projects, but I also have 2019, 2018, and so on and so forth being run over here on different projects. Now, for this series, I'm going to be using 2020.1.0 Beta 3, which is what this B stands for right there. I recommend that you guys, when you are adding this, you pick the most recent version Oh man, they're already on beta 5. I didn't even know that was out. Uh, you go ahead and use the released version of 2020 if it is out yet now or the most recent version in 2019. You want to use the latest official release and hopefully that latest official release is 2020. I don't recommend going too deep into the beta because it might break some of our programming because they are not very stable. For instance, when I test ran this series inside of 2020.1.0 B4, I actually had some game breaking bugs that happened, and this is not a complicated program. For that, that to happen inside of this simple tutorial, that just goes to show you how unstable some of these betas can be, which is okay, they're betas, but it can be pretty unstable. So when you hit the add button and you go into adding your version and you hit next, you want to make sure that you have Visual Studio Community 2019 checked on here, because this is what we're gonna be using to program our system. Once you do that, you hit next, and then you can go ahead and add it onto your system. Once that's done installing, let's go ahead and hit the new button, then we'll go ahead and make a new project. We're gonna pick the universal render pipeline. Now these different pipelines, you don't need to understand them quite yet. Term universal render pipeline, it means that it's pretty universal. They are not kidding. It works with 2D, it works with 3D. It doesn't go for quite as good high def graphics as the high definition render pipeline right here, but it's pretty good. And so for most projects, you're gonna to wanna to use the universal render pipeline you can name it whatever you want 
I'm gonna go ahead and name mine turn-based RPG for YouTube, and I'm gonna hit create. The loading screen will pop up and this will take a while, so I'll go ahead and skip ahead of this so that you guys do not have to watch this whole thing. Once Unity comes up, it might say that this uh, check for updates and everything is all open. You can go ahead and exit out of that. We are just gonna be going right ahead. And you'll see that this sample scene pops open. Now, we're not gonna be using the sample scene at all. So if you go ahead and hit file, new scene, It'll pop you open on a new scene like this. And then we'll go ahead and hit file and you go ahead and go save. And then you can go into your scenes and where we will save our first scene. And you can go ahead and name this your first scene and then go ahead and save it. Once it's saved, you can go down here to your project and click on scenes and it'll open up the scenes that are available to you. If you double click on sample scene, you'll see that sample scene from earlier that first loaded up. If you double click on first scene, you'll get the scene that we just created. Once your first scene opened, you can go ahead and left click on the sample scene down here in the bottom and you can go ahead and hit your delete key. It'll bring this up saying that you cannot undo this action. Go ahead and hit delete and now that won't even be an option to load. Now, so far you probably don't understand what scenes are if you're completely new to Unity. That is okay. We are going to be explaining that later on. So now we just got to do a couple more things to make sure that we're completely set up for the next video where we will begin scripting right off the bat. So we're going to get right into the meat and potatoes next time, guys. It's going to be exciting. <laughs> so let's get started here. Let's go over to where it says window. You're going to go over to the package manager. It's going to say no packages at first. Just wait till it completely loads up. You're going to go over here on our left hand side and you want to click on where it says visual studio editor, not visual studio code editor, visual studio editor. You want to make sure that it's completely up to date. You want to say you can update to whatever it's supposed to be at and then you click that button it will then load up and get it all up and ready for you now after that you want to go over to edit then you will go over to preferences and you will go to external tools over here on the left it's probably going to be on general at first then you got to go down to external tools left click and make sure that you are on visual studio community 2019 or whatever version it loaded onto your computer if you are far off into the future from us now make sure it says 2019 that says to whatever version it is because i have other versions loaded up on mine they don't always work visual studio community 2019 is awesome go ahead and use that and then you will be good to go we can go ahead and get rid of our directional light save that because we're not going to need any light inside of this game for the time being because we're going to do a very unlit game you don't need to know what that means yet if you don't understand what i'm saying and actually that's a pretty good place to stop us from now that we, we've gone through the setup and we're ready to start scripting inside the next video we will make our first script and we'll start talking about variables and strings. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you are having a lot of fun with it. It's gonna build up pretty quick here, guys, but I'm gonna try to really take my time with every single one of these videos so that you can get deep, deep, deep into understanding what is actually going on inside your scripts. Because even people that are experienced really don't understand what all the lines mean. And by like four or five videos from now, I want everybody to really understand what every single line means inside of their code because once you understand all that you're going to find making games a lot easier please like subscribe leave a comment i have a patreon it's down in the description below i really love to actually have comments and to hear from you and to talk with you i love to connect otherwise guys thank you so much for spending this time with me it really means a lot because i know how valuable time is have yourselves a great day bye